my peeps eagle dave here we are back in hogwarts and um, i'm extremely late for class we're heading to charms class first to re to uh learn the Echo spell i pretty i believe um we are where we last left off and as you can see we look a little different i played this a little bit offline for a few minutes testing out some settings for my uh recording software and i'm wanted to learn how to do the uh arithmancy doors i think that's what, what they're called the door you see straight ahead of me here i uh, did like two or three of them we got the hat and the weird glasses that i'm wearing so i figured why not stand out a little bit look unique so late for this class Let's see we're upstairs gotcha found class nice i have to remind him again What do we got? Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Thank you. Read my mind. Hello, I am Nettie. My so name is Justin. you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> no, I have not. It's him now. Shall we begin? <laughs> Let's Welcome begin. To year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of chant. Looks so weird but with them glasses. I am confident so that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page five one seven. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? No, I cannot. Anyone? Anyone? Mm hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. Damn. My, the seven months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember <laughs> how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? No, I would love to. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I don't think she has a partner. Never mind, she does. All right, time. To, oh, this side this time. Accio. That's how that's pronounced. Accio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a Thank lot you. of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You got it. Might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's Plan on being that. top of the class. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, <laughs> I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <sighs> okay. That was weird. We're back. Um. My recording software had a big error and um, we're now learning on the outside of the Hogwarts walls to use Exio in a little mini game, apparently. So let's see where this goes. Or it'll fall, yes? Now I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, <laughs> Professor. Show us. Very good. Don't lose your composure. Oh boy. Akio. Splendid. Stay focused. Excellent. Good. Not to worry. Was that supposed to happen? Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? We're gonna hit again to stop it or what? You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? 
Yes, sir. Oh, she does. There we go. Akio. Oh. Happens to the best of us. Okay, so I'm starting to figure it out. Oh boy. That is how it's done. Lisa. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Here we go. Akio. Okay. Don't you dare! Very good. Ooh, that was close. Watch this. Yeah, I figured it out. Hmm, middle one. That might be the hard one. Nope, oh, too late. Mm. Not to worry. Ah, uh, damn. Let us see this. I just got to hit this 50. No, almost screwed that up. Akio. Keep trying. I'm gonna pull you off the... Oh, that's absolutely dismissed. awful. Gather your things on the way out. Oh, well. Yes, next time the outcome may be different. Of course. You can use Akio and A humans. word, if you would. If. <clears throat> now, well, Professor Weasley has out. asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon <laughs> regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. How special is this assignment, you thinking? Achievement unlocked, first class student. Even though we lost the competition, maybe we can redo it later. But now we know a new spell. One of Harry's ancestors. Could be. Could not be. Hello? One may never know. How was your first day coming along? Great. How about yours? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Now, now that we've learnt that spell, we can get them flying pages flo we floating about. That one. Hey, can I pet the kitty? Yes, pet the kitty. Okay, now next class we gotta get to is in trouble you will be, but where would that smack? She says it's a boot and he says it's a flag. Thieves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots okay. and it wasn't flack. Oh but you're all in trouble with the There we go. <laughs> now, how these doors work for those who don't know. You got 10 beasts surrounding the door frame itself. For what I figured out, a lot of people get confused think counting one through 10 when, when the bottom left one starts at zero. So it's zero through nine. There's you reveal the numbers on the door. So the top number, the quick question mark means this one. The double uh, question mark means this little spinner. They're not usually close by each other either. So how the top, top one works, you take three and zero, it's a lot of addition, and then I'll get to the other part later. You. 
So five minus three is two. So we're gonna go to the little two horn dragon. Then this one, unicorn, one, five, 12 minus five, seven. So we're going, I'm gonna call that thing an octopus. There we go. Should you open now? Yes, we got it. There we go. Okay, so when there's a zero involved, you just go straight to the middle number and subtract your answer. Gotcha. What's in here? One chest? Just the one chest. Dueling gloves. Let's put those on. Hope you kind of get the gist of how to work these doors. Now we're going to head to the defense of the Doc Ots class. What are you? Weird. You're having a contest to make each other stupid, huh? Is that all you've got? Bombarda. Bombarda? That's a dangerous spell. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Oh, now, I get it. So you don't care about the students. You just want to protect like that skull you got. Took out the gotcha. You're a lovely Wales teacher. And lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Here we go. Time to learn a new spell. Now we can make things float. Levioso. Learning our basic now, uh, abilities, no doubt. Let's try something a little larger. Ooh, we're gonna get to play. Let's do this. Let me go, sir. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Let me go, sir. <laughs> Lucky. There's nothing lucky about it. Protego. Let me go, sir. <laughs> I know. Nailed it. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> he doesn't like me. He I put loves you on me. the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Yes. Nice Let's talk work. to you. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a Just new in student the butt. to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Yes. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. 
Whether it's joining a secret dueling right club up my alley. or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Luke and Brattleby. If you're interested. Till next time. I'll check into that later. We must go see Professor Weasley now. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah. There you are. Perhaps our relative to Dobby. Oh, here's Ronan. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Reparo. Ooh, Fixes I finally get to learn right the Reparo so I can broken repair object my Legos. Good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Can we just blow something up and then repair it? That seems more up my alley. Playing with paper birds. Okay. Oh! This is the right area. Got it. Accio! Brilliant. Why are you taking me back I trust here? the preliminary tasks weren't... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Got it. Well, oh. fancy meeting you here. Isn't it? Hello, Sebastian. Ah, Coming from my earlier, new butt. charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Hmm. On the Hogsmeade. Those glasses look so wicked. Flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Get them over here. Here. All right. Collecting thing. What? Odd. All right, let's go. Got my flies and had a serenade with yellow flowers tooting their horns at, at me. Oop, here's some Hello, more right over here. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh... You might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything you all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. He's been I drinking. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. He's definitely you guys, been drinking. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon. Akio. Well, that was a lucky guess. Mr. Moon is quite the garage. Nice purple suit. Honestly. If one could bottle the magic of this place, he needs to wait a minute because need to pet the kitty. The people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. 
So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcraft and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. An inquiring mind. Purchase that. And that. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of oh, my Oh, we are broke. Revelio. Oh. I'll go back and check that other shop. Finger dueling gloves. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. I think he just fell back there or something. Hello, sir. Oh, he just threw him. For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders. More than HTI, Ollivander. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Oh, but Let's I'm just a student. Why is it one, such a... Shall we? Mm, uh, no, no. No, not you. Um, ah, Make sure it's a good yes. one. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. I don't think that's the one for me. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, we'll find you something, not to worry. I hope so. No, not you. Uh, the secondhand wand is starting uh, to get a little old. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Yes, Let's I love my dragons. Oh, that one looks sweet. I like it. Please be the one. Oh, oh, oh goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Oh, uh, I was liking the look of that one. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps mm. you? Uh, ah, there you are. <laughs> Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. It ain't gonna explode, is it? What do you think? <laughs> yes, what do you think, Justin? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take it. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. To J. Pippin's potions. Uh, one second. Green strap gloves. Ugh.
Feel free oh, to take a look at the rest world. of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Hi, how are you doing? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. <laughs> did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Something's happening? Oh, Joy looks like we get our first fight. He's a big boy. The whole town's fighting him. Away from the building! Away from the village! You got trolls and uh a lot around here. There's an attack of trolls. Well tap press that just in a moment nick of time. There we go. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Akira. Descendo. A taste of his own medicine. Springo. Nicely done. Get away from him. Well, this new one is doing great. Troll, did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer, officer singer, and thank you again. Looks like a time for Repero. Repero. Lucky they didn't do more damage. I'll go and see what he wants. Levioso. No. Repero. I wish I had that spell myself. For real. Okay. Let's put this whole town back the way it was. One less thing for <sighs> Repair it. Found it. Let me in. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Uh huh. That's on the outside. <clears throat> Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. 
allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. Yes. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall Kind of thing in jet black. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Give me something I already have. Yeah, thank you. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. We do look ravishing on our new robes. Is that the guy from the beginning of the game? It is. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin yeah, doing did. with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yes, good idea. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Appreciate it, because I'm broke anyway. We have jack crap for money right, right now. Shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. And we're trying to hide from a little a two and a half right. foot goblin. Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. Nope, definitely not. We usually have to deal with. Uh, <coughs> There we go. Not timely. <clears throat> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. No, you're not. My you don't friend know me. is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Yeah, I can. Until they run out. And then I have to go outside and kick Seems a can all over the place. Fortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. I got Trolls, this. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? <clears throat> I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on Indeed. that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Indeed. Yes, I agree. Let's uh 
We're gonna get ambushed as soon as we leave here, anyway. Oh, turning night, Paul. Come back here for the girl, glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. We got an owl and he's gorgeous. Alright guys, I think we're going to cut the episode here for the day and uh, pay more and um, work on my settings here to try to make the next one a little bit better on the experience. Well, recording wise, so there ain't so many <clears throat> hiccups and whatnot. Anyway, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more from me. Would greatly appreciate it the like button will help greatly get my videos out there and for everybody else to see and um i will see you in the next one eagle dave out <laughs>